What's the best bad movie of last year? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. It's award season, y'all. And there are so many incredible films up for consideration. The big prize could go to anyone from Bradley Cooper to Bradley Cooper. <laughs> Yeah, but sometimes it feels like the movies we're supposed to like are predetermined for us by a small group of mostly white, old men who are biased gatekeepers of the majority of wealth and opportunity in the film industry. Right. But today, we're going to shine a light on movies that don't get enough praise on their own. Movies that are so bad that they are actually good. It's time for Ranked. Best Bad Movies of 2018. We've invited four mythical team members to join us today. Stevie, Will, Ellie, and Alex. Uh-huh, and what they've done is they each have what they believe to be the best worst movie of 2018, the calendar year. Um, so you guys are gonna provide arguments to us. I believe that we have not seen any of these movies, so based nope. solely on your arguments, we are going to rank them up here. And the movies can be theatrical release, they can be streaming, they can be direct to video. I don't care what they are, as long as they're so bad, they're good. And we're going to get started with Stevie. Well, our first movie is called Eruption LA, mm. and the plot synopsis is, struggling screenwriter Josh Kendricks finds himself the star of his own disaster movie when super volcanoes begin erupting all over Los Angeles. Mm. Could Take happen. a look. As I'm sure your agent filled you in, we need a page one rewrite on an earthquake movie. Have you heard of Dr. Irwin? If you're gonna meet with a seismologist, why not do it after an earthquake? What's all that noise? Right there. What the hell is that? Oh, God. The entire Los Angeles basin is sitting right on top of a volcano. We didn't see it because we weren't looking. Oh, my God. This is worse than I thought. How much time do we have? Four, maybe five hours. <laughs> Here is nothing. Oh, 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 that God. looks Ooh. horrible! Suspenseful, right? Did, what happened? How did what I not know about in? this? We um, didn't know because we weren't looking. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's a little weird, too, because you see at the top, they bring him in. He's the eighth writer rewriting an earthquake movie. Yes. But he's already written a movie, movie called Lava Angeles. <laughs> that movie that he wrote that came out, that movie is coming to life in his real life. But for some reason, he's also hired to write an, another earthquake movie. And then as soon as he's hired like out of that production office, yes. he happens to get in a helicopter with that seismologist. And who's flying the helicopter? Oh, it's the female lead of the new movie that he's writing. Because she's learned to fly a helicopter from the last movie that she did. Yeah, like Tom Cruise does. Yeah. This is an airtight plot. Well, How's the acting? The amount of people who are faking that an earthquake is happening throughout <laughs> the whole movie. Like, oh. really, Oh, I'm really. Because, like, you gotta have the right hair. Yeah, exactly. There's no like special oh. effects to make the room shake or anything, so it's literally like someone's yelling oh. off camera, like quake, and people are like, "You guys this? have a great." I'm feeling it over here. <laughs> okay. yeah. Well, you gotta put this at number one for, because yeah. I can't imagine it getting good. any better. Yeah, I'm not it's gonna really lie. Really good. All right, <laughs> Alex. Uh, Give us yours. I'm so excited, guys. I'd already seen this movie before I decided to pick it for this, before it was even an option. Okay. I saw it back in October. Mm. I rewatched it again, casually, and then I rewatched it again for this. So that's three total viewings for me, just for this movie. <laughs> Can't that's... be too bad. No, you... no, I think it's great. It's called Mom and Dad. Uh, it's the story of a teenage girl and her brother who try and survive a wild 24 hours in which a mass hysteria causes parents to turn violently against their own children. Mm. It stars Nick Cage and some other oh, lady. Oh, no, it, was. <laughs> yeah. it stars who? The Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Yes. You may be familiar with his work. He's very picky about what projects he gets into. Yeah. So. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But uh, it's pretty amazing. Let's take a look. <laughs> what is the rush today? It's like we're waiting for a buffet. What's going on? Is that McKenna's mom? Multiple reports are now coming in of parents murdering their own children. You put your right foot in, you take your right foot out, you do the hook, you hold the end, you 
<laughs> what? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty great. You do the hokey pokey and what? <laughs> uh, Can you repeat um, it? I have to say something because that's before the psychosis took hold. That's just a scene <laughs> in the movie where Nick Cage is upset. He's having a midlife crisis. He builds a whole billiards table and then his wife's like, uh, were you going to tell me about the billiards table? Ooh. And he's like, no. And then he just smashes yeah. it for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never build a billiards table yeah. without asking your wife. Yeah. yeah. But if you're going to destroy it, you should do it to the hokey pokey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think we actually have another clip of this movie because it's there's there's a lot to it. Yes. Right? You, you need to leave the house, you and dad. Your mother should open the door. And mother you're going to open this mother door. Not so helpful. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. There's no way that's in the script. He definitely just decided to do that. Yeah, yeah. You know? Colleen. Colleen. Uh, I, Is that an accent? I know. It's just, <laughs> it's just it's the peak of cinema. Yeah, I think wow. Nick Cage has his own accent. That's just Nick Cage, you know? Here's what I gotta say about this. I'm I wanna Eruption LA seems like a worse movie. Mm. But Nick Cage's performance is something that is so difficult to overcome when you get into so movies so bad they're good, you know? Yeah. So yeah. I think we gotta wow. we gotta upend Eruption LA. I got to see it. Oh, and it's got her in it too. Yeah, that other lady. <laughs> yeah, it's got the other lady. Yeah. Nick Cage don't and the other lady. Selma Blair. Oh, yeah. Selma, Selma Blair. Blair. Oh, Selma Blair is in it? I like her. She's I been, mean, don't watch it. <laughs> okay, well, what you got? <laughs> All right, my movie was called Beauty and the Beholder, and it is the absolute worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> like, the plot synopsis is a narcissistic plastic surgeon meets a beautiful woman who changes his outlook on life. Mm -hmm. uh, it was shot very well. That's the thing I will say. It was, okay. I think I read it was shot in 4K. Like looking at it, oh, it's, nice. it's color graded okay. very well. The cut right. are very right. good. So you can really see how bad it is. Yeah. So you can really see how yeah. terrible the acting okay. is. Got it. But uh, yeah, we have a trailer. Yeah. <laughs> I am Dr. Joseph Neiman, and I'm a board certified plastic surgeon. I'm considered one of the best in the country. People have always been widely obsessed with achieving the perfect look. Cosmetic surgery is the new drug, and it's in high demand. The leader of People Against Plastic Surgery would like to meet you. Maybe you should start dating again. <laughs> what are you talking about? I date all the time, you know that. I'm not talking about your strippers with benefits or one night specials. I bet you have never been in love. Would you ever marry a woman who's never been under the knife? I don't think I can trust a woman that's never had surgeries. <laughs> it's just oh. so dumb. Okay, wow. It's just bizarre. Seems so bizarre. It is very bizarre. But that the lead seemed pretty great. <laughs> I mean, he's like in his own world, similar to Nicolas Cage. Like he's working it up to be Nicolas Cage okay. someday. Oh. He's just like That's gracious of you. I didn't yeah. understand a word he yeah, said. He was like, he's like a mumble rapper. Yeah, yeah. If Bradley Cooper can mumble his way to an Oscar, this <laughs> is so he, he ain't ugly. He's not ugly. This is one of those movies that everyone involved thought they were making a good movie and they were incredibly yeah. wrong. It mm -hmm. went sideways. You know what I'm saying? It's a different category of bad movie, like The Room. But I don't think it reaches masterpiece levels like The Room, So, but he the has a Tommy Wiseau sort of quality to his delivery. Mm -hmm. He did, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is really tough, and I want to see all of them. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Nicolas Cage deserves his own like category. Here, you know? here's, here's the thing. What I hear Will telling me is that this was so bad it was bad. Mm. I, I I just haven't heard You're right. that it, it started to get better and became entertaining. It, it does look worse. good, yeah. and it is funny. I will also say that I was laughing. I was like, holy. At it. You were laughing yeah, at I it. I was laughing at it. So if you want to laugh at something, definitely don't have the kids in the room. Yeah, we were, we've already killed them. <laughs> <laughs> I, think it, I, I think it's a three just because I... This one's got a helicopter. Mm -hmm. You're right. You better believe it. Yeah, and it's got you, bad special effects. You're right. I gotta okay, give it to all right. Well, you still got one more, though. Ellie, what's up? Oh, let me take you into the world of boyfriend killer. Can you <laughs> guess the plot? Probably. Um, <laughs> after the death of her son in a car crash, a grieving woman starts to suspect that his vindictive girlfriend set it up to look like an accident. Ooh. Let's show the trailer. This is Officer Ortega. There's been an accident with your son. <gasps> I have bad news. 
What's going on, Sandy? Are you okay? A mother must search for answers. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I just, I, I didn't know who it was. Carrie, this is Crystal, Preston's ex-girlfriend. No, we were together. Preston and I were still, in fact, I, I live here. You do? Yeah. How long did the two of you date? Nine, ten months. A big mistake. If it's not keying my car, it's killing my fish. Or vandalizing my house. Why do you think she would lie about moving in with Preston? Who knows what goes through a crazy mind? Is that some women? I was Preston's fiance. Make killer girlfriends. No body, no cry. Boyfriend killer. Wow. Also fish killer. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Boyfriend slash fish killer. Yeah. yeah. So you're saying this is not all one slow lead up to just a porn scene? <laughs> Uh, like shocking, it. I know. She, wow. uh, so you have seen the whole movie in that trailer. Yeah, we actually saw the murder. Yeah. <laughs> Usually you don't put that in the trailer. Yeah, the trailer. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you explain the fish? Like, she was upset oh, okay. that her ex-boyfriend didn't want to uh, let her in. And so Not ex-boyfriend, they live together. No, they no, were no. engaged. Different boyfriend, pre-dead oh. boyfriend that Ooh. were that the mother cares about. Okay, it's a different. She boy. killed that She one has too. a history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. The woman in it is beautiful. Yeah. Oh yes. I he, kept thinking that hey. the whole time. I wish she would kill me. You know what? She <laughs> she's really good, and I hope you know one day she flaps her wings uh, above the fray. Um, and into movies that have real budgets. Okay, this is in the same category as Beauty and The Beholder. Again, it's somebody who thought they were making something great, was yeah. making something unintentionally right. great in a bad way. It doesn't seem like the acting's not as bad as Beauty well, and The Beholder. It just I can tell that by the trailer. It's just not quite as bad. Wow. It's really bad, but not that bad. Mine has the worst acting. Yeah, right. Hands but, down. They do but say is, this, their is lines. this in 4K? <laughs> you, you know, I don't know stuff about that. <laughs> Mine don't. definitely comes in all the K's. Like the <laughs> highest amount of K's you can get, the yes. cage is in at all times. I'm thinking that Beauty and the Beholder is a little better than this because it's a, it's worse. I mean, this is a kind of a cliche a plot. This is this is such a stupid plot about. Can you marry anyone that you haven't it hasn't gone under the knife? It's like. That's good. Where in do a you bad hear? Way. Yeah, where do you hear stuff like that? Yeah. L.A. <laughs> <laughs> okay, put boyfriend killer at number four. Sorry, Ellie. Uh, wow. We're basically put. I think we're gonna leave mom and dad at number one just because I'm afraid of what Nick Cage might do if we don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Can okay, I make I'll a counter it. argument? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> People like this movie. Mom and dad. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. And but fifty four, it has like a fifty four percent on Rotten Tomatoes, so you know. But it's, it's like got half a, yeah, and half. I mean, again, it's a failing movie. I, the number one is the one I want to see the most, even though I know that it's bad. Yeah, yep. I, I'll accept it. I'll accept defeat because of Nick Cage. So yeah, there you have incredible. it, people. Having not seen any of these movies based solely on their arguments, we have determined that Mom and Dad is the best bad movie of twenty eighteen. Yes. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You guys say you know what time it is. You, you know, know what, what time, time it is. is. Hi, Rhett and Link. This is the film class at Gilmer High School in North Georgia. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. <laughs> All right, North Georgia represent. I love them. Click the top link to watch us match the crew member to their favorite bad movie of all time in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Think you can handle this new Ear Biscuits mug? Well, you can. It's got a handle. Get one now at mythical.store.